I think to keep talking on the same wave we're talking about, about trauma system that uh, Dr. Ron Kobe talked about, uh, I think the most important part for me is the future doctor or the medical students. So the talk will be talking about teaching medical students trauma and we're going to talk about our experience in Jordan. So the outline will be starting with what is team course, there's a course called team, we're going to talk about it. Why team course? number of participants that we had taught and finally we're going to have the feedback for, from the students and us as instructors. So basically the team is Trauma Evaluation and Management which is a course implemented by the ACS specifically for medical students. It's a mini ATLS. So uh, as you all know, the most common cause of death worldwide in the young people is trauma. And as you know, in this fight was in the ninth edition of ATLS, you can see that road traffic accidents is causing about 25% of the mortality globally. And in the 10th edition, it's now like 23. So the major cause of trauma we are accepting in our hospitals is road traffic accidents or motor vehicle crashes, as they are called. The problem is 90% of these uh, trauma cases are in our developing countries. So what developing countries is? Jordanian statistics, as you can see from 2013 till 2015, you can see here that we are having about seven or 600 deaths per year from all the road traffic accidents. So basically every five minutes we have a crash and 60 to 50 people are dying each month. That's a big number. 2015, by the WHO, the World Health Organization, as you can see, the death per 100,000 from population, you can see that European is 9.3, the international is about 17, Jordanian is about 27.4, which is multiplied by three times. So this is the top causes of death in Jordan. You can see here the road traffic accidents, you can see the violence, falls, fires, trauma cases. If you collect them together, it will be number one. So let's get back. I'm not going to talk about cost. It costs us a lot of money. I think Dr. Mahmoud knows that it costs us about one million a day. One million a day. One million a day in Jordan because of the road traffic accidents. And by 2020, it will increase by 80%. Unfortunately, guys, there is something called the vehicle mortality rate. It is what a vehicle kill per 100,000 population. Unfortunately, in our country, it's about 8 to 9 more than the international ratio. And we are having more and more road traffic accidents each year, but the problem is just increasing. It's a snowball. It's going to be bigger and bigger each time. This is a study that was done by Dr. Jadaan. He was seeing what, when are the road traffic accidents happens in Jordan. And he found that the road traffic accidents usually are happening in Thursday, which is the start of the weekend, from 2 to 3 p.m. And you all know, at that time, who will be in the emergency room? The consultant? The specialist? Maybe the residents, the junior residents, and the medical students. That's why in the war, you will see only like medical students and junior doctors. That's why we have to teach them how to do the ATLS and trauma system. So, as you all know, we have six faculties in Jordan that teaches medical students. And these faculties in each year, each one take about 500 medical students. So if you do the math, 500 for six uh, medical faculties, we are talking about 3,000 medical students per year. And if you have the six years, so we are talking about 18,000 medical students are studying medicine nowadays in the medical faculties. It's a huge number. And I see this number, the future doctor, in the very near future. And they will be handling trauma care, trauma patients, in every hospital, from the north to the south. So back to the team course. So in the team course, we give them like an initial assessment video and we have feedback, then go for a slide lecture talking about trauma system and how to manipulate and we are going to a teamwork, we need uh, uh, people who will take the ATLS course and so on. 
and we are teaching them how to work as a team. The team leader, someone for the airway. This is the principle that we are having today. We are having a team course. Then we are going to distribute them to two groups, practical and discussion. They will go to the practical, they have scenario, we give them scenario and we have a simulated patient and they are practicing ATLS, principles, ABCs on them, and the other group will go for case discussions. Finally, after finishing that, they will have an exam, which is an MCQ exam. It's like uh, 25 questions by the American College of Surgeons, and then they have a feedback form. And this feedback form is very important for us to improve. So, uh, talking about team courses. Uh, we here in Jordan started in 2016 after the first SES Congress and we had the chance to talk to many, many, many students. We can come to this later. Uh, as I told you, we have lectures in many centers. You, the most like, places we are doing it in the private sector and we were doing it at Hashimaiti University because it was implemented in the, in the curriculum. And in the practical sessions, the students have the chance to go in and to do the maneuvers that we really need to. For example, we teach them how to do the chin lift, the jaw thrust, the basic airway maneuvers, going to the, the breathing, how to put the needle thoracostomy, thoracostomy, and chest tube, and so on. And we have discussion groups. The discussion groups, they have cases, and they sit in a discussion base, and they start asking about what should we do next, should we give regular lactate on one side, should it be more, more, you know this information. And for the past like three months, we are very happy that we are accepting students from the internationally. And to be specific, most of them are coming from Palestine. They are coming to, 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 from Palestine to Jordan specifically just to take the team course. And this course is now, like 14 minutes, I took these pictures. They have the uh, practical and the discussion groups as you can see. We didn't stop in here. We had some international experiences because we had many invitations to go abroad and teach team course. In Romania, we had the chance two times to go to Yash, two years, 2018 and 19, and we had to give there like two times team. We went to Ukraine also uh, this year, and next year we are invited to, to do the team course. Belgium, in Antwerp University, we did a team course too, and in Romania, Bucharest, 2017, 18, and in December, next time, we're gonna give also team courses there. So in 2016, when we started the ATLS, we have trained about 450 medical students. In 2017, about 330. In 2018, about 236. And this year, until now, we had taught 2016 medical students. Next week, um, me and Dr. Mahmoud, we are going to Palestine, to uh, Nablus, to teach some medical students from evaluation and management too. And we have one in October and in December on the international basis. So if you look at the whole courses since 2016, we trained handily like 1,600 1, medical students, which is a very good number. The 106 uh, the 1,600 medical students, they gave us all feedback. And we took this feedback and we put it like here to give them for the HCS so we can improve the team course. So the things went well. They liked mostly about the, AT, the team course that the knowledge is very important. You know that medical students, they go into surgery department, vascular, thoracic surgery, and most of the cases, as I told you before, is strong. And if, you, if the senior tells the medical student, yeah, go to the ER and cover these patients and so on, he will see trauma and he doesn't know how to deal or how to manage these cases. So after the course, they were like, yeah, now I know how to do Yeah, let's start. ABC is there. Okay, I'm going to check the airway. So they have something in mind now going on to treat the trauma patients. And it made them think really, really faster with the ATLS protocol because in the team, we are going like, okay, go ABCs. They have the discussion, the practical, so they are doing it like five, six times. So it's implemented now in their mind. It's like flowing of the information. They make it, they, the team course made the medical students very confident now to go into trauma patients. Because the first time when you face a trauma patient, 
the first time and you know nothing about trauma, you will be scared of what should I do next. Um, the people are here, the family around you, everyone is screaming, what should I do now? Uh, the practical part for, part for them was the best because these maneuvers, I think you all hear that, that someone died because he swallowed his tongue, for example. And medical students, when they see someone on the ground, ah, what should I do? I'm the doctor I'm here. How can I deal with this patient? So this fear is going away with trauma evaluation and management. And the good thing also, it pushes them to go to the ATLS. So the people who are taking the trauma evaluation and management, it's an eye opener for them for the ATLS. Ah, why shouldn't I go and take the ATLS? And we are looking for them to be instructor potentials. They will be an instructors with us and teach ATLS. Things to improve. There are many ways or fields or areas to improve in the team course, actually. First of all, the time for the practical. You know, one hour for a practical is not so much because they have many, many, many maneuvers to learn. So if they wanted us to increase the time. The second thing, they wanted to learn the basic life-saving methods. Like, for example, the surgical airway, how to do the intubation if you're alone, uh, how to insert a chest tube. We talk this like theory, but they don't know how to do it. So these simple maneuvers, I think they, we should like give them an introduction in the team course. Uh, decrease the instructor to student ratio. In the ATLS, as you know, we have four to one. So each four students has an instructor. In the team course, it's about 20 to one in the discussion or 10 to one in the practical. So the student can't really, especially for the shy students, they can't really participate in. So decreasing the ratio by either increasing the number of instructors or decreasing the students will be fine for them. And they wanted us to send the materials prior to the course because they just come to the course, okay, you have trauma today. What's trauma? They want nothing. So that's why they were looking for the materials to be prior to that. Our feedback as instructors after giving about like 32 team courses we think that the trauma guys, the team, should be implemented in the medical faculties. And we were trying to do this, I started this 2016 in the Hashimite University, and we spent two years doing this as a curriculum, intracurricular course. Students were very happy about it because they are having the trauma in the general surgery or in orthopedics. And it improved the knowledge, skills, and attitude. Because the ATLS instructors, most of them are the seniors, so they are looking, you know, medical students usually look to you as a surgeon, like you, like the future of them. So when they hear the information from you, they're trying to imitate you, they are taking the knowledge from you. So it really changed the attitude of the students rather than the knowledge. Uh, the problem with the team nowadays, it's a bit now getting old. I think it should be updated to the 10th edition because there are some differences between the 10th edition and the 9th, as you all know. And finally, we are looking forward to add a case-based teaching protocol. As the, in the 10th edition, as you know, it's a case unfolding case. So we give them a scenario, and this patient, you have what should you do? And we will do it some discussion. In the team, it's a bit now still a lecture. So it's a bit boring to take like two and a half hours of talking, one man show. So we think to add some by case presentations and to unfold the case and the scenario. In summary, guys, medical students are very good culture to invest in. Trust me, they are very eager to learn. They are looking for more information. They are trying to do the best, but they need us to guide them. They really need us to guide them. Trauma management really should be implemented in all medical schools because what kills first comes first. Trauma kills first. So we have to implement trauma. Uh, team courses are really spectacular, but they have many fields of improvement. And finally, we should help our future doctors, the medical students, always to improve. And I will finish with this slide. They say it is very good to be a king. It's very good to be a king. But it's really better to be a king's maker. And I see the students can be the kings in the future. Thank you very much.